Today we're going to talk about how to use this multimeter as a battery tester. Uh, granted, it's one of the most obvious uses for a multimeter, but if you're not familiar with these, they have a thousand and one uses, especially if you're into electronics, but even if you're not, you can use them to test batteries, which is very, very useful. Um, you can get one of these at Harbor Freight Tools for about five dollars, and you turn it to this setting over here, the DC voltage, uh, at about 20. There's a little nice switch there, and you'll get a reading with a decimal point after the first digit. And what you want to do is you just want to take a battery, uh, any battery will work. Take your red probe, which is always positive, just like on your car battery, and your black probe, always negative. Touch them to both sides of the battery, and you'll get your voltage reading right there. As you can see, this is exactly 1.5 volts. Um, you know, different batteries are going to have different readings, uh, but the idea is the same. And if you get the uh, probes reversed, you'll notice that you'll still get a reading, only it's minus. This is 1.58 or 5.9. And if you were to flip it over and orient them properly, you would get the same reading only without the negative sign, since you're flipping them over. Um, another good use these might have for your basic projects is if you flip it over to the setting, uh, which has looks like an arrow with a plus sign. It, it's a good continuity checker if you want to see if a wire actually connects. Um, you'll get that uh, if it does, and if it doesn't, it'll just stay like that. So that's very handy also even in a simple electronics project. But if you need to check the voltage on a battery to make sure your batteries have enough juice, uh, as alkaline batteries are, need at least 1.5 volts to be alkaline batteries, or if your project's using a rechargeable or your toy's using a rechargeable battery, they typically will have 1.2 volts or maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower. Anyway, very handy. I suggest you get one.